What's up guys, um, today I'm going to show you how to reduce the uh, video file size using a necessary software. So first of all, go to a uh, web browser, Google, and type Handbrake. Let's go. Then click on this handbrake open source video transcoder. And then we'll see that there is an interface will come and you can download handbrake for Windows 7 later. So click here on other platforms. So you can see for Mac, others, uh, Ubuntu, Linux, <clears throat> as you see. So, uh, you can download here for Windows 7. I'm, do, I'm using Windows 8, so hence I am download here. So the click here, download will start automatically. So as I said, I have downloaded here handbrake. This icon will appear. So like pineapple on the glass. So oh, this is crazy, you know. Okay, so click on here and see an interface like this. So cancel. So here you see there is an interface will come up. So uh, this will not be uh, like uh, what you're using or, or will, uh, the earlier versions will be different like what we are having now. So my is an updated version. So first of all, to compress a video, you can click open source, click a file. So I'm using uh, a video for demo. So you, you see this video is uh, uh, properties is oh, 250 MB. Sorry, this is 48 MB. This video's file size. So I can click in here. So after all, the software handbrake take it ready. Okay. So there are a the little bit tools that you must know that. Uh, you know, uh, the picture size is automatically captured. So there is a problem. It's uh, it's an automatic uh, anamorphic. So make it a loose, and then uh, all the things will be uh, you know same as before. You can customize it. You know, top left, right, and bottom to crop your video. But there's not here. There's not a need here. So I make it automatic. Filter go uh, same. No, no changes in the video portion and frame rate will be same as source. So the source will be uh, the destination will be same as same as source frame rate. Okay. So the, the most important thing is the constant quality. You know, 22 RF. So the better the value of the RF, the lower the quality, but the file size will be less. But the less in the RF value will you know lossless quality high quality so i prefer icon so basically from 22 i prefer 22 so keep it there average bit okay so now in some version there is no advanced options here so first of all you can click open so sorry tools preferences and you will see allow a use of advanced tab for 264 options x okay so in, in uh, some other version you say uh, allow the advanced tab or something like that so make it checked and go back so you see this uh, you know tab or tool will appear in market as quick and see an advanced tab here so now audio, you can uh, make the bitrate is 128. It is better to make use of 128. You can make other 160 or 192, but it's better. Okay. In ad advanced options, make sure the reference frame will always be for icon. It will be very good. Others will be, you know, some uh, interface uh, you might need not be configured, but here and some other um, you may have face problems here in eight. You should mark and checked, and uh, here you can 
default all or default here default make sure all the default and then in x to x64 encoder options you must see that level 4 0 bbd maximum frame rate 20000 and here lock ahead rc lock ahead 30 bb buffer size is 250000 and fs4 so make sure that you have this kind of uh, thing to make sure your something is good fine okay and uh, now you should mark well optimized to make it uh, well fine for you if you want to your video to screening on youtube or something like that it's very necessary and browse for the destination folder you want to save your compressed videos i reckon your compressed video okay maybe need a demo So now let's start encoding. We're checking everything is okay. Okay, okay. Um, okay. Okay. Let's start encoding. Encoding pass. You know, there's a little bit time will record. I don't know. Uh, I'm not using a very used file. It's just encoding um, uh, same as uh, you know. I'm using 48 megabyte. Okay, it will say very very. So you did not change. Uh, you have you might need to change this uh, general or uh, wave devices and something like legacy. Sometimes make use of normal. So I'm using fast, you know, default here. So you can pause it uh, encoding when you are in DB or something like. You can preview uh, your encoded video uh, to show words everything is going right okay uh, if you have multiple videos encoding at a same uh, you can see in a quick okay uh, seeing that everything about the list of videos that are encoding okay so let's take a while You see, seen 60 70 percent have encoded. Since I am using one video, there are no painting jobs. You might need to change filters or subtitles or chapters. No need to change that. Everything is uh, marked as the uh, same. And container will be mp4 you can make it an M mkv videos also but uh, most of the time we use uh, mp4 so it's it's preferable as you said that uh, encoding is pre finished and now check it the videos were in the compressed video okay you see that um, I have a demo video and its file size is only 3.98 megabyte so it's a huge compression you know uh, maybe 15% uh, 115% uh, it would be 48 megabytes in the original video and now it's 3.98 megabytes so you see the, the hello everyone this tutorial is about the basic components of so you see that the um, uh, you know the contents or quality is the same as before as you see side by side it's the okay. same as before this okay so it's very crucial thank you for watching this video and it will be useful for all of you thank you